so let's start with the customize section and in this section we are going to have image on one side of the screen and on the second side we are going to have some text and a button beneath it let's start with the comment and let's create a section tag then let's write the class as wrapper and let's have the ID as customize package we are going to use this ID later in the CSS part for some customization or styling then get inside and create a div tag and let's write the class as d-flex-r because the section or the contents that we are going to define under this needs to be stacked next to each other in one row because on one side we are going to have the text and on the second side we are going to have the image and both of them have to be in the same row alright then get inside and create a div tag and let's write the class as one underscore half so this div tag will take the half width of the screen and under this we are going to define the text similarly create one more div tag and write the class as one underscore half so that half and half makes a full okay then let's add some more class text hyphen dark to change the font color of the text then text hyphen write to right align the text and we have already defined all of these classes if you remember then get inside and create another div tag and let's write the class as border hyphen right because we are going to have a red colored border right next to the text and we will define this class later get inside and create a h6 tag and write any text that you want and let me just copy the text from the website and paste it inside p tag all right so we have the bare structure let's write some class to h6 tag font x2 to increase the size of the font heading to change the font style and increase the line height then get inside the second div tag which contains this class one underscore half and uh, let's write id as fixed hyphen one because in this part we are going to define our image it will not have the parallax scrolling effect it will stay fixed as we scroll through it so get inside the style.css and let's start with the styling then write hash customize hyphen package because that is the id of the entire section then space dot border hyphen write we have used this class with the div tag which has defined the text so let's define border border write 10 pixels space solid space hash 2e8b57 all right hash customize hyphen package space hash fixed hyphen one this is the id that we have used for the div that has to contain the image 
so background the url open bracket img forward slash bg hyphen one dot jpg close bracket no hyphen repeat then let's declare the height for this image as 650 pixels and background position as center all right let's change the height now it is looking similar to our example web page now let us add some margin to the div tag which contains the text because the margin is for the entire div so it will increase the distance between the image and the div tag now let's add some padding so that we get some space between the border and the text now let's add some more margin on the left and the right side of the div which has this one underscore half class all right now we just need to add the button so get inside the div containing one half class and below this div let's create a p tag and inside it let's create a button tag write the class as btn space inverse because we want the button to be transparent in the beginning and get green colored when we hover over it then write the text for the button Alright, let's add some margin all around it. Alright, 